Hello everyone! Before we begin, I want to say that this video is not sponsored and it's not intended to advertise the product. I made it because it may be helpful for somebody. Today I'm going to unbox and test this pressure washer. Last year we gifted the same one to my father for his birthday. Now I found it for half the price and bought it immediately. Now let's open the box. This is the high pressure hose. It is 3 meters long. Next inside the box is the gun. You can lock the trigger by pressing the black triangle. Next we have the one jet spray lance. You have to attach it to the gun, insert it as far as it can go and rotate it until it locks in place. My father's washer came with a dirt blaster lance so if I figure out how I can compare them in a video. Now the pressure washer itself, the strap, the quick connector for the water hose and the manuals, crushed and torn. Which doesn't make a good impression, as if they didn't carefully pack the washer in the factory but threw it in the box or a worker wasn't happy with his salary. We can only guess what happened to the instructions but I hope the box didn't fall many times on the floor. This was such a turn off, but let's move on. To attach the strap you have to insert both ends into the holes on top of the washer as shown in the video. You can keep the gun in the storage bracket when you don't use it. The spray lance can be attached to the back side of the machine. To attach the high pressure hose to the gun, pull out the yellow clamp, insert either end of the hose as far as it can go and push the clamp until it locks. Pull the hose slightly to check if it's connected properly. Take the other end of the high pressure hose, pull the grey clamp, insert it as far as it can go and push the clamp until it locks. Pull the hose again to check the connection. The power cord should be stored in the side compartment. Screw the coupling element for the water connection on the back side of the washer. And now let's test it. Attach the water hose to the back of the machine and turn on the tap. Then connect the power cable and turn on the washer. If you are using extension cable, always fully unreal the cable from the drum. First, I will try to clean this dirty doormat. When you press the lever on the gun, the washer will immediately start working and when the lever is released, the pump will stop. The pressure is blasting all the dirt away. Almost all the fur from my dog was gone, but to achieve better results, you have to remove the fur manually. Don't forget to wear safety glasses and a pair of boots. A detergent or something may get in your eye while using the pressure washer. So far so good, I tried to clean the floor of the terrace and it did very well. It became clean and shiny and at this moment the sun showed up unexpectedly and I stopped filming. This is another doormat and only after a few seconds you will see its real color.
It was really nasty. Now let's check the noise levels. The washer is completely quiet when the lever on the gun is not pushed. Turn off the machine and disconnect the power cord. Close the tap and detach the water holes. Wind the power cord and hook it on the side of the washer. By the way, the power cord is about 5 meters long. As you can see, there is a slight leakage from under the washer. Depending on the instructions, it is normal. It may be condensations due to the differences between the cold tap water and the air temperature. Detach the water hose from the washer. Press the lever on the trigger gun to release the remaining pressure before detaching the high pressure hose. This is a very important step. If you skip it, you will understand the meaning of the word jump scare. Then you can pull the clamp and unplug the hose. Detach the spray lines from the gun and store them on the sides of the washer. From time to time you have to clean the water filter. To do so, unscrew the quick hose connector on the back of the machine and pull out the filter. You can do it by hand, but sometimes it is stuck and to show you better, I will remove it again using pliers. Keep the filter under running water for a few seconds until there are no particles on the mesh. Now you can see the filter up close, it's a teeny tiny little water filter. Reinsert it, then screw back the hose connector. Last but not least, be careful when cleaning painted or sensitive surfaces such as wood, the pressure can damage them. That's all for today, have a nice day and see you in my next video.